All righty, let's work through some examples of uh, finding Thevenin equivalent circuits. Take a look at this circuit right here. We want to determine the Thevenin equivalent circuit between the terminals A and B. So that means we need to find the open circuit voltage and we need to determine the Thevenin equivalent resistance. Now, you'll notice the open circuit voltage is the voltage across here. But because it's open circuit, that means that there's no current flowing through here. I equals zero. So if there's no current flowing through that resistor, there's no voltage drop across that resistor. And the voltage at the terminals, the open circuit voltage then, is in fact the voltage across this 30 ohm resistor. Again, because there's no voltage drop here, the voltage hit this point is the same as the voltage at this point. And, again, because there's no current going here, the current source here, 0.5 amps, flowing is driving these two in series at this point. And we have, then, that V open circuit is simply equal to 0.5 times... 0.5 is the current times the 30 amp, or the 30 ohms is equal to 15 volts. We now need to determine the Thevenin equivalent resistance, which we're going to do in each of the three methods, or at least consider whether each of those three different methods will work for this circuit. Method one works when we have at least one independent source, which we have here. Method one involves finding the short circuit current and then forming the ratio V open circuit divided by I short circuit. So if we short this out, short the, the terminals, the current flowing through that, short, through that short is I short circuit. Now how do we find I short circuit in this, in this circuit? Well, by shorting that out, that brings this, the voltage here, down to ground. We have 0.5 amps flowing into now a node which consists of two resistors, this 30 ohm resistor and this 5 ohm resistor. Some of the current's going to go through the 5 ohm resistor. That's our short circuit current. The rest of the current is going to come through this 30 ohm resistor. We have a current divider here. So using current divider, we can calculate short circuit current directly. I short circuit is equal to 0.5 times and remember from the current divider, the, terminal, the term that goes in the numerator is the resistance in the other branch. So that would be 30 ohms divided by the sum of those two. 30 plus 5 is 35 ohms. And we get then that the short circuit current is equal to 0 0.4286. 0 0.4286 amps. And then R Thevenin is equal to V open circuit divided by I short circuit, which is 15 divided by 0.4286, which when you get your calculator out on that, you'll find that, that equals 35 ohms. So, method one. Method two, let's um, clear this up just a little bit. All righty, now let's use method two to determine the Thevenin equivalent resistance. In method two, which works only, works, which works if you have only independent sources, method two, you deactivate the sources. In this case, we have an independent current source. We turn the independent current source to zero, and that is effectively open circuiting this branch, which means that there will be no current flowing through this branch, such that as we look back in to the circuit, this is just hanging unconnected and does not enter into this. Effectively, we have, because this is open circuited here, this is effectively an infinite resistance here. And we see coming back into this then, the 5 ohms in series with the 35. So method two we get that R Thevenin is simply the 30 plus 5 ohms which equals 35 
ohms. The same value we got from method one. Now let's take a look at method three. Method three works regardless of the types of sources that we have, but in method three, we do deactivate the independent sources. So once again, we have this independent current source. By deactivating it, we open circuit it. And then method three says that we apply a test voltage, which then forces a test current into the AB terminals. And we then algebraically work to make the ratio V test over I test. So method three then is form the ratio V test over I test to give us our Thevenin. All righty. With that open circuit, this is a simple situation. I going in here, we can write a KVL loop going around this, going around this loop in the direction of IT. So KVL we have then minus V test going in the direction of current flow. We have then a voltage drop of plus 5 I sub T coming on down here plus 30 plus, that's a plus sign, 30 I sub t, the sum of those terms equals zero. Let's bring the V test over to the other side as a positive V test. Factor out the I test. We have I test times 5 plus 30 is 35 is equal to V test. Divide both sides by I test. That gives us our R thevenin, which is equal to the ratio of V test over I test equals 35 ohms. So we get the same results in any one of the three methods. And we then can, or now can draw our Thevenin equivalent circuit where V Thevenin is equal to 15 volts and R Thevenin is equal to 35 ohms. Notice that the original circuit had a current source, but the Thevenin equivalent circuit replaces that source and all of the resistance, the effects of the resistance within this circuit are represented by a single voltage source and the Thevenin equivalent resistance.